remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Bayasa State Governor Senator Doyediri has inaugurated the state's directorate on erosion and flood control. This follows a recent alert by the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, of an impending flood that will ravage communities in the south-south states and other coastal parts of the country in the year 2023. In January this year, the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, released its 2023 seasonal rainfall prediction. In its prediction, NIMET gave a lot of an impending high-intensity rainfall within a short duration that could trigger a repeat of the 2022 flood disaster in coastal states, including those in Nigeria's south-south geopolitical zone. Acting on NIMET's flood alert, Bayasa State Governor Senator Doye Dewey had set up the state's directorate on erosion and flood control. At a formal inauguration of members of the directorate recently in Government House Yenagua, Senator Diri gave them the attempts of reference in carrying out their assignments. You must address the threat of flood and erosion with the utmost priority that it deserves. Developing sustainable flood management practices introduce erosion control techniques and design flood resistant structures among other measures that can be adopted to mitigate the risks involved in the very near future. You have been carefully and thoroughly picked and selected And I'm sure, I have no doubts in my mind, that you fit in for these assignments. Just as Bayelsa State was seeking ways of mitigating likely impacts of the anticipated 2023 flood on its citizens, members of Imbiama community in neighboring river states embarked on a peaceful protest over the dilapidated state of the Imbiama section of the East-West Road. The protest carried out in conjunction with the Ejo Youth Council, IYC, had disrupted vehicular movement for several hours. According to IYC chapter chairman in Abua Odual and Engeni, Mesiah Karebo, the protest was carried out to draw government's attention to the deplorable state of the Imbiama section of the East-West Road following last year's flood outbreak. We are not only blocking this road based on Imbiama axis. If you are driving to Ahoda, from Ihike, Olokobo, and Okobe, the road is in a state of mess. After the 2022 flood, Setrako came there and just played on us and left. Most people will believe that these uh, youths, they don't have anything doing. They are useless. That is why they are gathered here. Most of us are living very well. You can imagine the shops are closed. The women decided to come out because if there is any fire incident, they will be the first people to, to be affected. The protesters, who were later dispersed by security operatives, gave the federal government an ultimatum of two weeks to fix the Imbiama section of the East-West Road to avert a repeat of their experience during last year's flood outbreak. What we are protesting here is that this federal road should be fixed in order now. No more delay. There have been many incidents that occurred here, but God saved our life. We cannot keep our hands shut when God will be doing the work for us. It's a time for us to rise. Protest, peaceful protest is not a sin. And it is not against our legal government. It's a legal protest. Imbiama town lies in very close proximity to communities in Bayelsa state that were ravaged by the 2022 flood disaster. At the peak of the flood outbreak, over 90% of the entire state, which lies below sea level, was submerged in water. The flood incident claimed lives, left many internally displaced, and resulted in widespread hunger and disease prevalence. Worried by the plight of his people, the Bayelsa state governor cancelled all his official engagement outside the state and personally visited flood victims across Bayelsa State to console and encourage them. 
Senator Diri had approved the sum of 900 million naira in two tranches to provide relief materials for flood victims in the state. With the benefit of the 2023 flood alert, the Bayasa state governor says it is only proper to take proactive measures to mitigate its likely negative impacts on Bayelsans. The impact of floods and erosion on our people is so severe and long-lasting as exemplified by last year's 2022 flood. Therefore, it is crucial to take proactive measures to mitigate the impact of these natural disasters and improve the resilience of communities to better respond to the challenges that natural disasters present. The Directorate on Erosion and Flood Control in Bayelsa State is charged with the responsibility to seek ways to avert the many negative impacts of flooding on citizens. They include damage to buildings, loss of homes and livelihoods, disruption of the state's transport system due to damaged roads and bridges, making it difficult for people to commute to their places of work, as well as internal displacements. Inside the Niger Delta, 